Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Narmik, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing Let's Go City and Lost City Folk. I just got done recording some Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I had a pretty fun time, but now we appear to have uh, some notices, so we'll get through those. And now this is going to be a chilled episode. Um, first up, I do want to apologise. I'm recording this as in ye olde England, uh, the football's on. So even though I have no interest in it whatsoever, um, you might hear some people um, outside. Um, you could hear people across the town cheering whenever they want to score a goal, so I figure... I might as well apologise for that now. Um, it's probably a fact of inevitability, but um, I have to get this video out today regardless, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah! On that note, um, a letter from Gigi. To Daniel, I wonder where you'll be when you get this letter. Well, I won't be in Toffee because I've moved away. Thanks for everything and take care. Huh. Yeah, those letters always feel really bittersweet, but I didn't even know who Gigi was, so that should tell you a lot. Anyway, we, we we still have a present from Father's Day. We should have really, really, really detached and thrown that letter away by now. But it is red carnation bags, of course. Um, but though, like, that gives me an idea, actually. Um, as you may have been here for the last few episodes, we've been uh, working on our little garden outside of Nooks. Um, oh, okay, my face weren't realised. Um, I thought I was going to saying something. Um, I remember last week I was like, you know... <laughs> See, the, I think I hadn't been on for a week and a few days, but some of the like, flowers looked perfectly fine. And I had a fear of, like, you know, hang on, what if I come back and they wilt the next day and then, like, die in the next week? Um, and obviously, like, yeah, it makes sense, but it's like, does the game do it or not? So I watered them all. And luckily, only a few of them seemed to have, well, perished. So, so I, I, I like that little experiment works. Um, I might just make a habit of watering the whole garden to increase the chances of that working. But, um, no, this is going to be a laid back episode. I just recorded about an hour of Skyward Sword, so excuse me if my voice is a little bit out the window, uh, so to speak. I'm um, also, uh, batteries have finally been replaced. I know, first battery change in ages. Um, like I said, I have that little pot next to my desk, and uh, if you watch the episode of Skyward Sword, you'll see the exact moment they run out in about 20 seconds of me fiddling around with my remote light. They're, um, they're back. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was a cool little thing to do. Especially because um, previously, if my... Ooh, hang on, that's... Oh, there's some extra flowers around here. Oh, we could extend the garden this way. Yeah, let's, 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 let's do that. There's a little, a little extra goal there. But no, um, what was I going to say? Mm. That's completely slipped my mind. No, no, because previously when uh, <laughs> my batteries were done around, um, it looked, oh, oh, right, this has just stopped my entire recording then. But now, it's like, oh, oh, I can do it mid-recording. So long as I've got a pot of them full. Like, I have four more remote changes. Um, I'll try and make an effort in the next Animal Crossing videos to be like, oh yeah, we've um, you know, we've changed batteries, and you can see how long they actually end up lasting. Like, it sounds like a weird thing, but honestly, they last a while, so the eight the eight double A's I've got on my desk will probably hit for a year or more. Which, you know, is, is, is a good sign. Like, I think previously I, I had, like, a really long hiatuses on this series, because, well, to be frank, it would... <laughs> I'd run out of batteries, and we just wouldn't have any, because... Nowadays, nothing really takes double A's. I mean, it sound, sound weird, like, yeah, you got remotes and all that, but, like, you know, phones are rechargeable. I mean, yeah, phones have always been rechargeable. You don't you don't need to put double A's in your landline as often, if you even have one anymore. And, I mean, if you do, the most of them are rechargeable. Like, legit, the only thing you need them for are, like, you know, electronic toys and controllers. I, could, you know, I suppose I could get rechargeable ones. I, <laughs> we did have an old pair, which I used to use in old videos. Um, you might have heard me complaining about them, because they ran out practically in an hour. <laughs> so it'd be like, one, two recordings, bam, dead. I'd have to charge them again. But now, uh, it's, it's weird the batteries are going out of style. Never really noticed it being a thing, but no, it's, uh, it's definitely a trend. Anyway, uh, let's talk, because I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. Um, okay, keep, keep pressing A to wrong because so I've just finished uh, playing Skyward Sword, so my brain's in the, my brain's in A is the rumblesome mode, as I'm sure you can guess it's, uh, being awkward. Um, anyhow, I spy, with my eye, something beginning with a bug. And immediate regret, you kid. Come on, it's summer, that thing sells for so much, you need to tell me I wasn't carrying it, that's so I can be more efficient selling coconuts. <sighs> Oh, 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 that hurts. That hurts to no end. It's funny, though. Yeah, apologies if my voice starts to go, or I get a little bit quieter as the recording goes to. And that is all the recording day number on me. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you can make, if you're a fan of that game, I did the Earth Temple one, that character showed up. And they're the only person I've put effort into voicing. 
Because look, I, I like him, my friends like him. It's just a funny funny thing we do. Oh, I should plant it though, should I? Yeah. Uh, but no, it, do, it does number my voice a little bit. A little bit raspy. Anyway, so what's been going on since last recording? Um, I got my vaccine, actually. Yeah, I got it in my left arm. Um, like, the person asked me, what arm do you want it in? So, um, apparently that's a choice. Like, obviously I want my left arm. I don't use it for anything other than holding a wee nunchuck. Uh, but no, no, they're like, what arm do you want it in? It's like, uh, so my left arm hurt for a while, and I, I showed like a few symptoms, and then they died down like immediately after. Uh, you know, because I'm just that, that big and strong, my body forced off the, the virus with <laughs> little, little to no trouble. Uh, but, no, what I find funny in this uh, little anecdote, if you will, is that um, I think one or two days later, uh, my parents, <laughs> they, um, they, they took me and my sister to, um, to a, to a climbing activity place. Y yep. <laughs> While my arm was still aching, if you've if you've had it, chances are you probably know what I'm on about to a T. Uh, but no, but no, I I climbed those walls and my God, a that was intense exercise. B, I'm surprised I was able to do some of them. And C, most importantly, my um, my arm hurt like shit. <laughs> um, but you know, it's, it's a funny thing thinking back on it. But oh, I tell you, I was, I was sweating from climbing those walls. My arm only lasted an hour. Felt like it too. But my God. <laughs> It was, um, it was a challenge, but I'm glad I did it. Yeah, it, it it's quite fun. I was like climbing walls. Anyway, I do realize there is a new uh, neighbor there. I just want to do some uh, shovel work first before we speak to them. And of course, what that? There's a village near here who has fleas. Peanuts! How dare you? Alright, well, actually, I, I can't even help them because I don't have a net. It's truly tragic. I don't know, I climbing walls, they're neat. Uh, immediately after, actually, we went to the, uh, the, the Ye Olde English pub, as they, as they would, they would, they would not say, but, you know, I'm gonna say anyway. And, um, because um, I got my food really early, I shared it with my younger sister, and it was just a very big chicken platter. If you've been around the shell for any period of time, you'll know I am, I am a very big fan of chicken, especially when it's highly processed. Um, yep, they, they did not disappoint, that was chicken every way I could think of. Uh, but unlucky for my family, that was like a starter. So we got that, and we were like eating that first, but no one else had their meal. And we didn't get it until like 40 minutes later. I mean, honestly, I think I always order the starter combo, because it's, it, it, it's definitely unhealthy, but I enjoy it. Um, God, I'm reflecting on way too much things. Um, hello, what's your name? Daisy. Right. Oh, I don't believe we've met before, Bow Wow. My name's Daisy, what's yours? Daniel. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Bow Wow. I wish I could invite you over to my place for a nice chat or something, but it seems to have lost my house key. I was, I was gonna say that as the next line for a joke. So you might have to wait for um, however long it takes to find it again. <sighs> you know, you are... You, you, you are... <laughs> you know, it's more ways to make a first impression. <laughs> I'll, I'll say as much. Anyway, um, uh, hello, Pierce. Um, I'll, I'll speak to the villagers in a sec, but I would like to quickly find the fossil, get that accessed, and then just be done with money stuff for this episode. Uh, same goes for the money rock, too. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if I scare them off, because I don't have a net. And if I went in and out of the building to get one, it wouldn't be there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so what else is the speaker like, then? Talked about my uh, my fun day out, which is pretty neat. Uh, honestly, there's not much. Um, as I hinted at the beginning, I'm recording this the day of the... Euro football tournament final. I'm not. I don't pay attention to football, but um, if you if you're English and watch these videos, which a high majority of people are, um, you'll either agree with this or not agree. Um, <laughs> like whenever the footballs on, especially a big tournament in England, start doing remotely well, um, like it or not, you will never hear the end of it. And I get it. Like yeah, support your country and all that, but <laughs> my God, once it happens for like, the eighth time. Uh, in your life, it's like right, okay. It, like, especially if you're not like involved in football, like I am. I'm, I, I'm, I'm the least interested person in sports ever. It's like oh, 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 yeah. It, it, it's coming home, is it? And it's like I think they're playing against Italy, which is like mm, who would I want to win? Fish and chips or pizza? Well, I'll give you a hint. What I didn't have for lunch it was fish. <laughs> so I mean, mm, I'm, I, I, I was debating it over in my head. Like, do I, do I want to be vocal about the fact that Italy wins, uh, or not? It's like, oh, you're such a killjoy, you don't want your own country to win. On the contrary, though, it would be funny. Because <laughs> people get too into it. I, I sound like an absolute sociopath, but I figured I'd throw my two cents into it since it would be slightly relevant to the topic. Well, I suppose in that vein, I haven't heard any cheering outside, so the Italians are probably winning. No, I will not say if I think that is a good or a bad thing. 
<laughs> I was actually debating, um, I saw an advert for a betting website, and then I was like, I might bet on, on something. I was like, nah, actually, this is probably a very slippery slope to fall down, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, like I said, it, it, you get wrapped up in it whether you want to or not, and I love and hate that fact at the same time. Um, hate more so because... I, again, I could not care less about people kicking around a football for 90 minutes. Somehow more if, you know, both sides are equal. <sighs> I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just not English. Maybe maybe I'm secretly Italian. Like, I, I know the country cares, like, when it comes to football. It, it, it's just the British, and yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are you getting wound up in all this football fun or not? Uh, what I will say is I'm kind of jealous of my sister who gets to come to school late tomorrow because, you know, all the, all the kiddens will be staying up to watch the football match and whatnot. Ah, like I said, you get, you, get, you get swept up in it even if you don't have a remote interest in it. It's either the best part about it or the worst part about it, depending on who you ask. Um, I'm off essence though, we are actually halfway through the episode. And we have still not found a fossil, which kind of sucks. We've seen uh, Poppy, not that Poppy, um, Hazel, no. Nope. The pink squirrel person. We've, we've seen her like four different points around the town. Why are they just teleporting here, there, everywhere? <laughs> anyway, um, so this could be thorough around the museum. I didn't check there before. And if, if we can't find them, we'll just write this off as a week where we couldn't find the fossil. Although the fossil does stay in one place, so it's probably my best interest to find it while it's in an awkward spot. And there it is. Voila. Right next to the museum. So, so I would have walked all the way up here regardless, but... Uh, the only, well, if I had a fossil, so... I mean, it all works out in the end. So what else have I been up to then? We've talked about the football, we've talked about getting vaccinated on my day out. Uh, we're coming up on 600 subscribers. Crazy, I know, but... Nope, that's actually thing that's happening. Um, so, again, if you're subscribed, thank you, and if not, <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, uh, this channel's very strange. Um, anyway, Dimetrodon Tail. And return to safekeeping, that is what we like to see. And, right, not really, and let's go to the roost, because I, uh, like I said, I've just got back from recording uh, Zelda. So, um, just a little bit of editing thing. I want to preload that footage into my editing software for editing later without needing to wait once this recording is done. Uh, <laughs> you might as well do it while I know what all the dialogue is there. So, you know the price, 200 bells, hell yeah. Cool! Don't say this to just anyone, you can't appreciate fine beans like this, that, you get the gist. And have I lost, I've, I've lost the part where I can actually see what I'm doing. And why, it, it's not letting me select the footage. It's, like, it's letting me select other footage. <laughs> no, this, is this what I get for being efficient? Is it? Oh, right, no, I, I couldn't select that because it's literally the recording I'm currently using. I really hope that hasn't corrupted it. <laughs> there we go. And we'll let that load up because it takes a few minutes. And I'm hearing chanting outside. Have have the people just scored? <laughs> See, it's great because not, I've not got an active eye on the score, so I could exclusively guess. But hey, if for future reference, it's currently 8.20 p.m. In, in the real world, so well, no. <laughs> yeah, it, it wraps you up in it. It wraps you up in it. <laughs> anyway, okay. Actually, no. People are getting quite loud, so I, I yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say 8:20. There was a, a goal scored by the English, or there was a goal scored by the Italians, and people get at 8:20. There was a goal scored. <laughs> yeah, and there was a goal scored. Anyway, yes. What else have I been up to? I've um, been behind on uploading, um, trying to catch up with this double upload tonight. Now I'm just one day behind, uh, so I should be able to catch up just fine. Um, what else? Really not much. I think I'm going to go see a movie for the first time in a while, which would be pretty neat. I think some people in my group, like relatively close friendship group, are talking about going to see Black Widow, I think. They have like a group tradition that I'm kind of being dragged into to go see. I think every single new Marvel release that comes out, at least the ones I'm interested in, so I might be going out with them, which is pretty neat. Uh, the last time I was at the cinema um, was actually after they reopened in the UK, and I saw the uh, the cool and funky Demon Slayer movie um, after not having seen the series for like a month, three months or so. But no, I liked it, I liked it, it was fun. Uh, but the time, the last film I saw before they closed was like two weeks, I think, and um, okay, there's no axe. And I think it was the uh, My Hero Academia second movie. Uh, I, I jammed with that, that was pretty cool. But I'm not sure if it's just me or not, but I can't follow. Like, especially if it's a TV show, I can't follow it as well when it's in a movie format. Um, again, I can you know, the comment section, let me know. Also, the date, the date is 7-11. Uh, and looks, looks like 7-11. Yeah, there was some sort of uh, intervention <laughs> to make that happen. 
Anyway, ooh. Is that implying that this is a frog? Because if so, I will take it. That works it. Like I said, well, like I said I, I'm not sure. Like movie anime, like adaptations or just movies from a TV show, they never seem to like gel as well as the actual show. I'm not sure if that's like. I don't think it's a budget thing. I think it's more timing. I'm not sure. What would you prefer? Like three, three episodes where like they slowly build up the villain and whatnot, and everything's done well, or one kind of clunky movie. I don't know. If it was like they condensed a lot more content that would have been there into a movie, then if they just did a series. But I get it, movies are making a whole lot of money. And I caught a frog. What's a frog? What is a frog? I want to check if we can donate that to the museum. And on the way, deposit our money too. <laughs> Still haven't been able to throw an axe into the fountain, which I'm kind of disheartened about, but oh well. Let me think. Mm, yeah, okay, my throat's starting to dry up in that, uh, in that back right corner. So I might wrap this one up at the 20 minute mark. Apologies in advance, but ooh. Okay, so we can, we can do um, 3250. Ah! Okay, we're, we're saving up awfully well. <laughs> I mean, we've only got 146 spells left, but. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this one around the 20 minute recording mark, solely because my voice is starting to go. Um, well, no, I, I've had fun enjoying this. It's a nice way to, like, kind of chill out after that Zelda recording. Um, I, I did a, a temple. A little insight if this one goes up first. And yeah, that was. My, my, my brain wasn't working overtime, but it was a little bit stressful to try and not get killed as much, so to keep the flow going. And I think I did that pretty well. There was a part where I kind of seemed really dumb and get lost, but. No. I think, I think it was a well recorded thing. Ah, worth the sacrifice, if you will. Anyway, so we'll see what Blathers has to say about this frog, though. So fascinating. Are you aware that frogs make slight adjustments to their croaks to communicate? They say many things to each other like, ouch, fully, I like you, heart, and so forth. With enough practice, maybe I can learn to speak with our amphibian friends. Who ribbit, who ribbit. But on the side, I offer you our gratitude. Rest assured, your aquatic friend will be most happy. Now, do you wish to donate anything else? I do not. Ah, yeah, it's interesting about what he said about communication uh, with frogs. Uh, I live near the sea, to no one's surprise. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard the seagulls going off more than once. Uh, but, um, no, interesting thing. I saw this from... Weird, weird fact how I learned this. I was watching a TV show that I found someone who was on the TV show's um, YouTube channel who made a video of someone else who was on that TV show where they talk about seagulls because they also live near the eight sea. And apparently they kept speaking like 20 different sounds. It's like other seagulls or it's like people too. Which which I know, I know it sounds like a am like mildly crazy. But like, I, I, I've definitely started to pick up on a few of them after living here a few years. Um, like, there there were... Because way back when, I'm not sure why, seagulls hated me. So I, I permanently know what the noise they make is right before they're gonna swoop down and grab something. And they'll just, you know, peck at my head. Uh, not 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 fun times, I tell you. And this is another four. How? 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 I mean, I could have been there years because it was so well blended in. You know, they have like all the different sounds, and it's, uh, I suppose once you live here long enough, you do start to pick up on a few of them. Um, especially when I'm about to dive bomb you, um, warning, or just being a general nuisance at four in the morning. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, but I think, <laughs> I think on that very weird, weirdly, um, v v very out there uh, tangent, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, just because, again, I felt my throat was going. I need a drink. I mean, of course, pause recordings to get one, but at that point, it's just six minutes extra content. It's, is it? it okay, hello, hello Chevrolet. I'll keep this going for you. Hey there, I wanted to talk to you real quick. You and I, we talk pretty often. Do we? And I say hello to you all the time. Don't you think you deserve more personal greeting? Well, really, says Toffee. Oh, yes. Really? So do you have something in mind? If so, you just have to. I was hoping you'd come up with it. Um. Well, I'm all, okay. I'll, I'll actually go through with this. Um. 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 How about instead of saying hello, we say. Uh. Yeah. Eh. What, what, oh, like I'm some sort of cryptic individual with secrets to hide in code. Actually, oh, if I could backspace and do an at, that would be even cooler. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry, Chef Regal. Like a complete idiot when you speak to anyone opening with this, but. You see, this, this is why I don't like uh, motion control typing. Uh, yeah, yellow, yellow. Yep, yep, yellow, yellow. Right, I have to test this out. Yellow. I like it, Labar. I'm gonna start using it right away. 
But while you do that, I'm going to wrap this one up and I'm going to not go to the house because I'm digging the music today. But if you did enjoy, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I believe, while those two have a conversation, that's it until next time. So with all that said, all that aside, I hope you've enjoyed. And thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Aramic and peace. Out.